In today's episode, we look into the stages of female pattern baldness and the best treatment options for hair loss in women. In my previous episode, we discussed on the causes and the mechanism of female hair loss and hair thinning and the telogen effluvium. The pattern of hair loss in women is different from that in men. We have discussed male pattern baldness and its stage-wise treatment in earlier episodes. Now we'll discuss stage-wise treatment of female pattern baldness, that's again the androgenetic alopecia. The male pattern hair loss is typically seen at the front of the hairline and the crown of the head, whereas women with androgenetic hair loss more often have diffuse thinning on all areas of the scalp, but thinning starts typically on the front portion of the scalp. Remember, the reduction in hair thickness and density leads to a reduction in the overall hair volume. But complete baldness in women is very rare. The stages of hair loss in women is measured by different scales. One simple and conventional scale used is the Ludwig scale. This scale has three stages. In all three stages, the hairline is preserved, unlike the male pattern baldness, where hairline recedes and then completely lost. In stage 1, there is minimal thinning of hair at the front portion of the scalp, as you can see in the illustration. This type of hair loss can be easily covered or hidden by hair styling techniques. But this doesn't mean that you should not start treatment at this stage. We'll discuss treatment options later. In stage 2, there is moderate thinning and noticeable widening of the midline part. And in stage 3, there is much more diffuse thinning with a see-through appearance on the top of the scalp or thinning is seen over the entire scalp. Now, let's discuss on the treatment options for hair loss in women. Firstly, you need to confirm this is androgenetic alopecia and rule out other causes of hair loss like the PCOS, thyroid disease and other causes as discussed in my previous episode. Well, the first line of treatment for female pattern baldness is minoxidil solution. This is the first and the foremost medication used for the treatment of hair loss in females as well as males and easily available over the counter without any prescription. This is an FDA approved medication for hair loss. In women, generally 2% or 5% minoxidil is applied on the affected area of the scalp once or twice daily. 2% is used for the treatment of stage 1 and 5% solution is used for the stage 2 and 3. And this is very important to prevent you from going into stage 2. The higher the stage, the more difficult the treatment is. And remember, minoxidil is not a miracle drug. You need to consistently apply it for at least 3 to 6 months to see any obvious improvement. If minoxidil works for you, then you need to keep using it daily to maintain those good results. If you stopped abruptly, you will start to lose hair again. Also, you must know how to properly use minoxidil solution. Use the dropper or the spray pump and apply on the dry scalp on the affected area and gently massage with your fingers in a circular movement. Do not overdo this and also prevent it from going into your eyes. Then wash your hands thoroughly after use. Do not shampoo your hair at least for 4 hours or 6 hours after application. If this is causing any irritation on your scalp then it's most likely a contact dermatitis. You might need to consult your doctor. It's actually not caused by minoxidil, but it is due to alcohol content in minoxidil solution which causes irritation. Then the second line of treatment is anti-androgens. This type of treatment has to be taken by consulting your doctor. Some women who do not respond to minoxidil are prescribed with the anti-androgen drug spironolactone. This is usually prescribed to women with polycystic ovarian syndrome that is PCOS because they tend to make excessive amount of androgen that can cause hair loss as discussed in my previous episode. Then lastly, hair transplantation. This is the final option if no treatment works. We'll discuss in detail about how hair transplant is done and what are the two types of hair transplantation techniques commonly used for both males and females for hair loss treatment in my next episode. Please like, share and comment below with your feedback and consider subscribing to the channel if you're new to the channel. Stay healthy.